Hey guys, welcome back to Why You Were Cleaning. In today's Dollar Tree haul, I have some of my favorite items that I have ever found at Dollar Tree. So I am so excited to start sharing them with you. I did want to mention if you haven't seen my Shop With Me video where I show you these items along with all of the other new items that they've had out in my stores, make sure you go watch that video. I will link it at the end of this video. Also, today's video is kind of a part two haul video. I did share a haul video on Saturday as well. Both Saturday's video and today's video are the haul videos from that shop with me, that shopping trip that I took last week. So I will share the shop with me and the haul video at the end of this one so you can go see the other great new items that were out in my stores last week. Let's go ahead and we'll get started with this haul. We are going to start off with some amazing new finds. This week at Dollar Tree, I found vinyl paper. And they had so many great colors that came out. They have transfer paper as well. They also have tools to use along with this. I don't personally have a Cricut, so I don't know how well this works with a Cricut. That's something you'll have to test out for yourself if you have one. But I just think in general, this paper is going to be great for doing DIY projects. So the first ones I have to share with you, these are 12 inches by 48 inches, which I think is a great amount of paper for a dollar. And these both are permanent. So they did have some removable ones and then they had some permanent ones. So the yellow and the green are are permanent and you can see here the colors on those and they come in this box my store was hanging these up in the front part of the store but then they also had some over in the craft section so if you don't see these in the craft section or on an end cap make sure you check around your store a little bit as well you might find them in just some random place and then they also had removable paper so they did not have the green and the yellow in removable. They only had those in permanent. And then these removable papers, they only had them in removable. They didn't have them in permanent. So they'll probably eventually, I think, get in these colors in both removable and permanent. But for now, this is what they had in my store. So all of these, again, are 12 by 48 inches. They had the removable in white and blue, and then they also had it in red and black. So they really just, you know, gave us a lot of colors to choose from with these. I think that black and white are probably some, some of the more popular ones that you would use in some DIY projects. And I wish I would have gotten doubles of those, but I didn't think about it. They also didn't have they only had two of each of these colors put out in the store where I was, so I just got one. I didn't want to just take all the, you know, the paper that they had. And then they had these transfer tapes. So they had three different ones to choose from. This one is 12 by 36 inches, and it's just a kind of clear one there. I think it's on a white roll. You can see there how it works with the transfer tape. And then they had these two that were, had this checkered pattern. So you can line it up. This one, this larger one here is 12 by 38 inches. It's definitely going to be your better value or yeah, 12 by 38 inches. And then they had this one that was five and a half by 38 inches. And it's just maybe for some smaller projects. You can see there on the back, if it'll focus, how they're used. And then they had these tools out. So they've had the little roller for a while. I did share that in the shop with me video. Um, so they had that little roller cutter, but then they had this craft picker and these ones they had with different color tops on them as well. So they had some different colors to choose from. So this one says easily remove tiny cuts, separate vinyl and iron on cuts from liner. So you can see there at the bottom, it is kind of a pokey tool there. And then they had this craft spatula and you can see the color on the top there is a little bit different. It's a metal spatula there at the end. And then this craft scraper. So apply materials 
on clean large areas. So this will be nice. I normally use a credit card or something for this step to flatten out vinyl paper. So this will be nice for all kinds of DIY things. So I found some new cat toys out in the store. So they normally have ones that are similar to this style. I just don't think they have this fur part in the center of it. And then they had this one, which my cats actually got a hold of these. So they're a little bit disheveled, but they had this one with the fish with all these ribbons sticking off. And then it has, you can see the string wrapped up there so you can pull it around. They also had this big yarn ball. So this has a, maybe a foam ball or something on the inside. The thing isn't entirely yarn. Actually, you can see it there on that side, but, and then also, let me go by my mic. Hopefully that's not too loud, but you can hear it. It has some sort of jingle type bell on the inside of there. And then I picked up these new cups, which were out for summer. So these ones, this one here says, hello, sweet summer, and it has watermelon on it. You can see it's red and then the top there. And then this one says summer vibes and it has the pineapple and it has this nice pretty blue color. These are double walled. I love these cups because when you put cold water in them, it doesn't sweat all over the place. So love these cups. So I picked up two of those. And then with the 4th of July type items that they've been putting out in the front of the store, I found these cutlery sets with the wooden cutlery. So they did have out some with pineapple on the handles. Um, and they probably still have those in the store. I know I still saw them in the party section of my store, but then they have these ones out for 4th of July as well. So I thought that was really fun. And then I picked up some socks and these have been out, I think for a few weeks. I just really wanted some new socks. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you the designs on these real quick. These are all Juncture women's socks. Juncture is a Dollar Tree brand. This one here has some llamas on it and then the stars on the other side also found some new makeup items. So this one is an eyeshadow quad and this is by the flower brand. You can see the colors on there. And then I picked up two new wet and wild lipsticks. So they look very similar, but you can see from the bottom here, one is just a little bit more of a pink coral and one's a little bit more of a red coral. I found so many great new office supplies this week. So first off, I wanted to show you these Crayola brand Take Note erasable highlighters. So they have them in these three packs. So yellow and green, pink and orange, and then purple and blue. And then you can see on the back here how it shows that they are erasable. Um, I'm not sure how that would work as far as erasing them if you have written with pencil or something underneath them. I'll have to try them out, but I just thought it was a fun concept, something that my kids could use in school um, to highlight things of importance. And with them being name brand, I think that they'll work a little bit better than some other highlighters. Although I've always had pretty good luck with highlighters that are the Dollar Tree or the Jot brand. And then I picked up this notes organizer book. Let me see if it says it has 80 sheets, 160 pages. So it has, it's saying it has 160 pages because it has the lines and everything on both sides of the paper. Um, but I got this book. I thought it would be great for putting down video ideas. So if you have any sort of business or even just, you know, being at home and needing to make lists, I thought this was a really nice idea to use for that. You could do your general idea and then how you're going to execute that. So I did pick up that. And then I found some new list pads. These are not magnetic pads. They are the Crown Jewel brand, which I think is also put out by Dollar Tree. But then they had this one here with the lemons on it and it says, squeeze the day. And then they had this bumblebee themed one. It says busy bee. These bumblebee ones were way in the back. They had them all kind of stacked on top of each other. So make sure if you don't see the ones you like in front that you look behind, especially if they have this label here at the top. They had some other ones of these there in the store as well. So those ones might be in front. So 
check all the way to the back if you want to find them. So you can see this one here with the bumblebees and the little bulleted lines there. They had some new notebooks as well. So I picked up these two are the same kind of similar style. Both of these have 60 line sheets on the inside. You can see it has this clear piece on the front with a rainbow on it. And then it has the cover and then the line sheets on the inside. And this one here has the dinosaurs on the clear sheet. And then you see the cover there. And then again, same line sheets on the inside. And then I also got this rainbow one. And I think I've seen similar notebooks to these before, but this is the first time I've seen the rainbow one. I like this inside here is really soft. I don't know what kind of material it's supposed to be, maybe some sort of felt, but then it's just a fun little notebook with this elastic on there. And I just really like the design on that. And then I picked up two of these clipboards. So I found this one with the bumblebees. And of course I'm, just into bumblebees. Every time spring comes around, they start getting some bumblebee products in the store. I just have to pick them up. And then I also grabbed this pattern. I just like that one as well. And I wanted to get one for each of my kids for school. I grabbed some crafting supplies that I wanted to share with you. I did find some new self-adhesive stencils there. This is 5.9 inches by 8.3 inches. I really like the patterns on this one. They had so many new ones of these stencils there in the store and those are in that shop with me video so grab this one and then i also grabbed these wreath rings now these come two to a pack i believe these used to be nine inches but these ones here are eight inches now i think you can see it says there on the package so they're a little bit smaller i'll have to grab another one and compare see what the other ones i have are and then I picked up this palette knife set. This comes in a three pack. I know I've seen these before, but just recently saw them come back into my stores and I thought this would work really well if you wanna make some textured art on a canvas. So grabbed those. Also found this embroidery thread. So they've been getting the cross stitch kits there in the store. Hopefully they'll get just the blank canvases sometime soon and then maybe you can find patterns and stuff online. But then they have this five pack of thread. So it has yellow, orange, blue, pink, and black as the colors there. And it does not say how much are on each of these, but it looks like a pretty good amount there. And then they had this decorative nautical rope. This is nine and a half feet. And the reason I'm showing you this one is because it is a lot thinner than the rope that we normally see there at Dollar Tree. So I did compare it in that shop with me video so you could see it up next to one of the other ones. So I thought this would be nice for different projects, you know, different ones, you'll need different size rope to do them. So I went ahead and grabbed a couple of those and then I grabbed some jewelry making items. So I did get this bead tray with the numbers around the edge to make different sizes of necklaces. And then I picked up this package of beads Beads. This has 250 of different colors there. And then I went ahead and grabbed some of these jump rings, which it does not say how many are in there, but it is a lot. So it shows the sizes there. Um, it says 0.7 ounces, but it doesn't give you a number. Um, but you can see there's quite a few jump rings in there. And then they had these lobster claws. I only saw these in one size and one style as far as the clasps go. So this is a 12 pack. It does tell you how many on there. I'm down to my last few items to share. First off, I have a couple of frames to share. And this one is a five by seven frame has this black and gold around the edge. And I thought this would go really well with some bumblebee themed decor. Also, the colors go really well with that black and gold trinket box that I showed you in my last haul video with that honeycomb pattern on it. So I thought this would match really well with that. And I got a couple of those. And then I also found this new four by six frame, which is a see-through frame. I really like these. They're great for adding some vinyl stickers or something to the inside 
or I did a DIY recently with a different sort of frame that they have like this at Dollar Tree and added some greenery stickers to the inside so it looked like it was some pressed greenery. I'll link that up above for you here if you want to go check out that one. But they've had this frame in, with the black and then the see-through part. They've had this in the square shape but then I just recently found it in this rectangle shape. And then I found this new vinyl sticker, which I did find a few different new vinyl stickers there in the store. So this is the first one that I found, and it is a Be Happy Bumblebee themed one. And you can see it has two different bees on there, and then the words Be Happy, and then the flowers. You can see there at the top, it doesn't really show the full picture on there, but I love this. It's perfect for adding to a DIY video coming up and or just putting it right on your wall or sticking it in a frame or adding a portion of it to the inside of this frame, whatever you want to do to make some theme decor out of it. I just really love this vinyl sticker. I did find one other peel and stick decoration as well. So this one says, find beauty in the rain and you can see it has those little raindrops there and this is one big sheet so it's not like individual pieces for those little raindrops i did want to show you here at the top it doesn't show the full picture there just like the bumblebee one didn't so make sure when you're looking at these that you pull them out look at the full thing because it's not giving you the full picture right there at the top and then i have some amazing garden decor signs to share with you. If you want to see the whole collection that they had out in the store, make sure you check them out in that shop with me video that I shared. It will be linked at the end, but I picked up three of them. So I did get this fresh flower market sign. You can see with the white lettering there. And then I love this green background on there. They had one other sign that was similar to this as well. And I did get more than one of these because I'm sure some of you will not be getting these into your store. So I'll be doing a giveaway sometime in the near future. And then I picked up this steak sign. This says locally grown fresh produce. It also has this little hanger part at the top. I don't know if it's just you could hang it. You know, you could take the steak off and just hang it up if you wanted to. You can see the nice colors on there with the black background. And then they had this sign that I picked up. It says farmer's market with the black background there. And then this one has all these pieces that are hanging off of it. So it's all these greenery pieces there. So let me just go ahead and show you what each of those look like. It's hard to just hold it up and them all hang straight. So there's all of those. You can see how long it is there. So grab that one as well. And then I found some really fun new fairy garden items. So I did in that last video that I shared with you, the last haul, I did pick up some seashells because these new fairy garden items are beach themed. And so I wanted to go ahead and pick up some of those seashells. They have some new ones and some larger packages there at Dollar Tree. I wanted to pick those up so that my kids could put together something really fun with these. So in these packages, they have these little three packs of little figurine items. So they had so many more than this. So make sure you check in that shop with me video to see all of the other great items they had. But they had these little pail buckets and these are not glass like I feel like if you know they got dropped on something like cement they might break or chip but I don't think they would shatter I don't know if it says it doesn't really say what they're made out of but I'm not worried about my kids playing with these because even if it chips I don't think it'll have a sharp edge so got the little bucket one there and then I also picked up this one with the three little gnomes and I have three kids so it's perfect that all of these packages have three things in them because I didn't have to buy any extras and then I also got this one with the little seashells and then they had these little houses and they're just so fun and you know you have to see the other items that they had out in the store as well because they had little lounging beach chairs and a sailboat, all kinds of things. So they had these two shell-shaped houses, say shell-shaped 10 times fast. So you can see what those ones look like. And I really like the colors on those as well. 
And then they had this one, which is like an actual house with a surfboard there on the side just to look like sand at the bottom. And then they had these little cars. Isn't it adorable? So I didn't realize when I was filming the shop with me, they do have this car in kind of two different shades. They have this blue and then they have one that leans a little bit more towards a green. They're very, very similar. You can barely tell. Um, I don't think, yeah, none of these items have that green shade. So you can see their adorable little car. And I just really love this collection. I think it's my favorite fairy garden collection that they've come out with. I haven't bought any other fairy garden items except for my daughter to use with her Barbies. And so I love this one. That's why I bought them. All right, so those are all of the items that I have to share with you in today's haul video. Make sure you check out the other haul video and my shop with me video that will be linked at the end of this one. And I really hope that you guys have enjoyed today's haul. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you guys next time.